See, that's what I need when I ride my bike. Knee pads? Knee pads and, you know, gloves. Welcome back to Suffer Travels. This week, we move to Oak Park in the county of Ventura. We tour a local museum and railroad depot and get a little bit of a history about the area. And then we take you to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library, where we get to hear all about our 40th president. And then we take a ride out to the Pacific Coast Highway and Malibu Beach to check out the ocean. So join us this week on Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy and I'm Diane and we're Zephyr's Travels and this week we are in Oak Park in Simi Valley, California. We've had a busy week. We have. It, it seems to just fly by when you're when you have something to do every day and uh, we I think we did. We had something to do every single day. Yeah we started our trip or started our week with a stop at a local train depot which is a museum and it really gave us a good opportunity to see about Simi Valley and in this area. And there was a man there, a wonderful man, who, since it was not busy at all, was able to devote his his entire time to us. Yeah, he gave us a very personal tour of right. the depot and what it was like to be working at the depot and everything, it, and that train life. It was really interesting. Yeah, that was very interesting. day and went to the Ron, <coughs> excuse me Ronald Reagan Museum and Library and that was quite interesting as well. If you haven't heard us talk about presidential libraries before they're a great place to see a snapshot of history during that president's time in office and what went on and in this case Ronald Reagan you know was in office for eight years and so it was a pretty big snapshot of time and a lot of happened and so it was very interesting to go to that museum. Yeah, and then after that, we went to... Well, let's show them video. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have to show you some video. seriously without taking yourself that way. Among the signs on the desk is one that reads, there is no limit to what a man can do or where he can go if he doesn't mind who gets the credit. Not a bad philosophy, especially in Washington, D.C., a city of tall monuments 
and even taller egos. Mr. President, your meeting is starting. So, goodbye. God bless you. The museum starts you out with a look at Ronald Reagan's early family life, uh, growing up in California, being a football hero, and then his aspirations into politics, where he eventually became the governor of California, and then that led him to eventually the White House and running for president. of a British ship called the HMS Resolute, hence why it's called the Resolute Desk or the Hayes Desk. There's only been a few modifications to the desk over the years. The panel on the front of the desk was added by FDR to hide the fact that he sat in a wheelchair behind the desk. And if you look at the bottom of the desk, you'll see that it has a few inches of wood that were added to it to elevate it. That was done by President Reagan. He was a very tall man. And when he sat behind the desk in his chair, his knees knocked into the top of it, so he asked the carpenters to raise it for him. The portrait hung on the wall here is Nancy Reagan's official White House portrait. And as you go by that, you enter a section of the museum which is devoted to Nancy Reagan. And on display are several of the outfits that she wore during the presidency. Adjacent to the main museum is the Air Force One Pavilion, where they actually have the Air Force One plane that was used by President Reagan. This is just one of the nicest displays, and I was really excited to see this. Not only do you get to see the plane in a static display, but you can actually walk through the plane and get a feeling for what it was like to travel on this such iconic plane that traveled all around the world with the President of the United States, the Vice President, members of his staff, the press corps. It, it's just such a neat feeling and there's probably not too many museums that actually let you walk through such a piece of history. You can just see exactly how the plane was when the Reagans used it, right down to what's on the tables, the clothing, everything. And one of the stories they told us is that they used to serve cake on the plane all the time, but uh, Nancy was concerned about Ronald's waistline. So they only could serve cake on the plane when it was somebody's birthday. So you wanted to make sure that you told the president that it was your birthday when you were traveling on the plane so that he could get cake. We're here on the grounds of the Reagan uh, Library and uh, Museum, and we just did the tour through that. What did you think? I thought it was excellent. I mean, it, the, the presentation of all the history, you know, it just followed right along, and, you know, there's a lot to read, a lot to look at. There's short films to see. And it really gives you the true history of Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan, his presidency, the two terms he had in office, his life after the presidency, where he, when he suffered from Alzheimer's, yeah, and uh, a little bit about their family life. But it was a, it, it, it is well worth the time and well worth a visit. Yeah, and they have a Air Force One that you can uh, tour through and. 
marine helicopter. Mm-hmm. So it was very, very enjoyable. Yes. Yes, it's excellent. It's located in... Um, Simi Valley. Simi Valley, California. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it, it, like I said, it's, it's well worth your time, well worth a visit. So what are your thoughts of this campground? It was just okay. A lot of the campgrounds we, we stay at because of location, because of the attractions or, you know, other things we want to do in the area. Um, and this, you know, it served its purpose. Yeah, this one, this one, I think the attraction for us was the location and the price. Right. You know, it wasn't going to break the bank. A lot of the campgrounds around Los Angeles area will cost you quite a bit. Um, right. And so this one wasn't one of those, but obviously, and I did a little bit already of some video that I'll share with you, my thoughts on this campground in a little more detail. I want to take a minute and share some thoughts about our campsite. It's not something I normally do. We usually tell you if we like a campsite or not, but we don't go into a lot of details on it. But this campground, I think, needs a little bit more detail to you when you watch this video. This is a very convenient campground for getting into the northern part of Los Angeles. You're about 35 minutes from Burbank, so you can easily drive in there. You're one mile from the expressway. In fact, you can almost hear the expressway in the background. Um, so it's a quick and convenient campground for that, but it's not the nicest campground we've been to. And the reason I say that is it's really, it could be better kept. They could take a little more pride and clean it up, you know, between visits and such. Um, the grounds are mostly dirt and you've got mulch and leaves and sticks on it. No grass which is kind of a downside from that perspective. The picnic tables, as you see in the video, are kind of old. Um, they're actually cemented in place um, so that, that you can't move them on your campsite. Uh, so if it's unlevel, it's unlevel. You're kind of stuck with that. But on the plus side, and, and the, one of the reasons this campground really worked out for us is that it's reasonable for California. Our stay was less than forty dollars just under forty dollars and that included two dollars per day per dog so you know, it's about a thirty five dollar a night campground plus the up fee for having pets so in that aspect for california that's pretty reasonable we have electric and water there's a dump station on site so we were able to dump the tanks we were here for about a week and a half so we needed to move the trailer midweek and dump the tanks and we'll have to do it again today when we leave so from that perspective, it was very worthwhile for us to use this campground. It's very convenient to the Ronald Reagan Museum, which is just down the road, about three miles. And the, the town of, of uh, Simi Valley has got everything you need. Um, there's a Costco up the hill where you can get gas pretty cheap. There's all your typical restaurants nearby within a short driving distance. There's a bike path um, that you can ride right out of the campground down the road and get on the bike path and ride through town. Um, laundry mats, you know, a number of laundry mats in the area. Um, everything you pretty much need, grocery stores, is within less than five miles. So from that perspective, it's a very convenient campground. It just wouldn't be a campground I would go to to just spend time at the campground because I don't, just the fact that it's pretty much just dirt and mulch you know kind of turns me off so I wanted to share that with you on this because we're we're probably share our thoughts and overall we're gonna give this kind of a medium grade but um, I wanted you to give you a little more detail on, on my thoughts on this campground it's it's a basic campground right it served their purpose yep. there is you know there's picnic tables here there are you know if you have children there are playgrounds for children right. but it was I mean it's it's not huge but it's nice and you know we were able to do what we needed to do walk the dogs and uh, go to the different sites around and not have them be too far away right yep. oh. another day we took a ride down into the Malibu and Santa Monica area along the coast so we got to see the ocean we did stop at one of the parks and took the dogs for a walk okay today we took a ride down to Malibu and currently we're at Malibu County? City. 
city park right along the ocean. We decided to take the dogs for a ride and uh, decided to come down around the coast. Well, we drove down to the coast, drove along Pacific Highway through Malibu and Santa Monica. It was extremely crowded, um, which probably may be normal for the weekend in both those locations, but a lot of people on the beach, surfing, just sunbathing, just walking along. And it, w it was a nice afternoon. Um, I don't know if I would ever live there because there just seems to be, I can't imagine living along a highway, you know, a busy highway like that. But we don't and we probably won't, so it's not a concern. But it was a nice drive, nice sunny day. This is where we're going to end this week's video at Oak Park, but stay tuned for next week when we head to the Peterson Museum to see the James Bond exhibit of cars. We go down to Universal City Walk to check out the shops, and something I've been looking forward to, we get to tour Walt Disney's Carrollwood Barn in Griffith Park. So be sure to check out our next video.